some expressions. Come on. lies ahead. Get into the swing of things and get ready for it. We thought it would be appropriate to start out the inaugural festivities with all of us coming together with some great food, a chance to watch some football games and friends to be around and what better way. My grandmother used to say that uh, whatever you do the first day of the year you're likely to do for the balance of the year. Well, if that's true, our family's real blessed to have all of you here with us. And I hope that you'll be with us the entire year. Give us your suggestions. Give us your thoughts. Give us your prayers as the Archer administration begins the process of leading our city. We're going to need your understanding. We're going to need all of you coming together to make it happen. And we will do it. We are a great people of substance. I want to thank my colleagues with whom I will have the pleasure of serving with who have been here today. I do know that Councilwoman, Council President Marianne Mahaffey is still here over there. <laughs> Councilwoman Kay Everett.
Councilwoman Brenda Scott. Why don't you all come up here so they can see us. Bring along Sheila Murphy Cockrell, Clyde Cleveland, Gil Hill, Mel Rabbits. If I'm missing any council person that I have not seen, please come up. I'd like to everybody to see us. This is how we're going to start out this year. Working together, being together, making a difference on behalf of our great city. I'd like to thank all of the elected officials who are here. And I'd like to thank our United States Ambassador to Canada, our former governor, James Blanchard, his wife, Janet, our United States Congressman, Sandra Levin. There are a number of judges and magistrates. Please raise your hand. Let us say thanks to you for your fine service to the bench and for all of us. David Bradfield, I'm sorry about your dad. Now there is a, to the table off here to my right, I've got my family. Stand up as I call your name, Warren Garner. His wife, June. My uncle, James Garner. His wife, Flossie. Trudy's parents, James and Eleanor Duncan. One of my best friends and my sister-in-law, C. Beth Duncan and her husband, Joe Brown. And a member of our extended family that's been there as long as, uh, almost as long as Denny. Elsie Fondren. Stand up, Elsie. Now my two sons, my two sons are walking around here or on their way here, but you know how it is when they are in town. It's like, here I am, and I'll see you in a minute, but they'll be here. <laughs> we start off this year with a brand new city clerk. Yes. I'd like to have her join us. Jackie Curry. Yes. Where's Jackie? Come on, Jackie. I'd like to uh, also suggest the following. I really enjoy desserts. I especially like cake. But there's no way I can eat all of this cake that is in front of me. So I would ask you please to join me in having some birthday cake. Mr. Fofo has done a tremendous job and uh, he's got some great sweet potato pies there as well. I'd also like to uh, suggest to you that uh, all of the corporate sponsors who've made all of the events happen, you'll see them on the back of the page, you'll note who they are. Thank them. Thank them because what, that, what they're going to allow us to do is that all of our net profit will go to start dividing it up between groups and organizations who are concerned about the homeless and disenfranchised, the cultural arts and our cultural community, and also to start the scholarships for our children who are graduating from our Detroit Public High School. So thank our corporate sponsors for helping me to make that happen. Now coming in, making their grand entrance, but I'm delighted to have them here. My youngest son, Vincent Duncan Marger, who's the tallest one, who rubs me on my head from time to time, and reminds me of that. And my oldest son, Dennis Wayne Archer Jr. So there are two people that had the responsibility to sort of make all of this happen today. Uh, they're co-chairs. Uh, one uh, is involved with me and has been there for a long time. The other is one of the best cooks in America. Welcome me, please, and allow me to say thanks to Emmett Baylor Jr. and to Liz Jackson for putting on 
one great afternoon. So let's go back to the music. I'm gonna come down here and cut this birthday cake. Thank the good Lord, nobody put 52 candles down there for me to blow. Uh, that way we can make sure that uh, I don't blow anything on the cake that you don't wanna eat. <laughs> Ike McKenna, my chief of police over there laughing too. Jason, you ought to cut that out. Thank you very, very much. Have a great evening. I look forward to working with everybody and thank you very much for being with us today. God bless you and Happy New Year. Come on, let's hear it ladies and gentlemen. For our mayor, Mayor Dennis W. Archer.